Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, you'd like to talk about hair products, you'd like to review, or you'd like to have a look at how you can boost fine hair or any of those cool things for men and women's hair, then please subscribe. Okay, so I want to talk to you about a product today, which I have purchased, I'd say about six weeks ago, but I've only actually used it about three times. Now, how often do you ever buy a product which you pay a little bit more for Okay, this is what not stupidly expensive. We're talking about the ODX Organics Nourishing Coconut Milk Anti Breakage Serum. Now, you may think that that bit of an odd product for a man to buy. First of all, I want you to get that out of your head that products are for men and for women. Of course, yes, they are, absolutely. But just because a product is aimed at women's hair does not mean that it would not have a great effect on men's hair. And just because a product is aimed at men does not necessarily mean that it wouldn't have a great effect on women's hair. Now, I have longer hair. OK, longer hair. It's just past my chin. And I have bleached highlights put throughout my hair. Now, anybody will know if they've ever had any uh, lightening down to their hair or if they have coloured their hair lighter than what it naturally is, than what the great Lord gave you and you've had to use bleach to achieve that lightening effect, you will know that it straight away changes the dynamic of the hair. It makes the hair a little bit more coarser, makes it feel a little bit more rougher, and the, the aftercare jumps up a little bit. If you've got bleached areas of your hair, highlights, lightened hair, what have you, you need to pay a lot more attention to your hair. It's a more of a premium service because, of course, you really do need to pay much more attention to your hair. So it's the moisture. What I'm trying to say is blonde hair, lightened hair needs a little bit more looking after. Now I noticed after this, uh, this highlighted, uh, this my sort of winter highlights as to speak, um, I really noticed the difference this time, had it just done before Christmas and uh, the lady who done it, fantastic job, absolutely amazing. Um, but I really did notice that even though I'd had the Oplex put through my hair as well, which is like a repairing, a looking after, again, quite a premium service, um, paid an extra £10 for it. Um, it did, after a couple of days, make my hair feel quite rough, quite almost like rope. Um, really difficult to get any moisture in there. So I was looking for a product. Now I bought this way before I had my hair highlighted because the plan always was close to Christmas I was going to have this done because I had it done last year, really, really liked it, looked super cool um, and thought it was just really quite a nice thing to do, what I wanted to do for myself. So that out of the way, I bought this thinking anti-breakage serum, great, I'm going to have this, it's coconut oil, uh, coconut milk rather, um, it's going to be great for looking after my hair. Now this is what it says here on the front, so nourishing coconut milk, anti-breakage serum, nourishing is a new formula, anti-breakage serum, indulge your senses in this exclusive formula with coconut milk, coconut oil and ultra whipped egg white proteins. It helps add strength, elasticity, hydration and shine. Now, OK, so let's just break down that a little bit here. So coconut milk, known for the strength, known for the vitality, that renewal effect of the hair on the outside and really tries to get to work on the inside, that core basis of what the hair is made up of, of course, those proteins. Now, coconut oil, very much the same, but more along the lines of trying to boost strength, trying to trying to really repair that sort of uh, that rigidness, that dryness, that sort of brittleness. So both amazing products. And then we've got the ultra whipped egg whites. Now, I've heard a lot about that. The actual protein in egg is really, really good for the hair. In fact, many, many years ago, actually now, um, I had a scalp problem and I looked online, um, I say scalp problem, I had some hair loss and um, I actually tried egg in my hair. Of course, I always use cold water because if you use hot water, it starts to cook the egg, so don't be doing anything like that at all, but just egg throughout the hair, egg whites, or if you just beat the egg up and put that through your hair, it does have a real surprising effect on your hair. It puts strength, vitality and shine. It really is good and it's good for the scalp as well. I believe the sulfur is really, really great uh, for the scalp. Maybe completely wrong. Maybe absolutely have read that completely rubbish on, maybe have been me reading rubbish online, but I don't think it was. I had a really great effect and that was many years ago now. But anyway, so that's why I thought great products got all those great things in here. Now, it says on the back here, coconut milk anti-breakage serum directions for use apply a small amount to palm. Now, bear in mind, remember that small amount, okay, to the palm of your hand. Okay, rub together and apply evenly to the surface of damp hair working through the ends. Okay, there we go. For best results, use in conjunction with other OGX hair products. Well, that's fine because I've got a few other uh, OGX Organex products in my sort of family bathroom go to. Shampoos, conditioners, one thing or another. 
I actually used one uh, which was not the OGX, and I've also used one which was from that range. I'm going to be doing a review of one which is for uh, for Shine. It's actually like a... Um, I can't remember the name of it now, but it's um, it's got Pearl in the name, and it's an OGX product. It's aimed at women's hair, but again, it was in our family bathroom. My mum actually bought this. She really liked it on her hair. Again, suggested try this Bradley. I thought, yeah, great. I'm going to review this, bring this to my channel. Amazing. So that will be coming soon. Anyway, getting back to this. <clears throat> yeah, I'm struggling of what to say good about it. I really am. I have to admit. Um, but however, that's only from one aspect of it. When you wash the product out, you can feel that it does really work on the strength so do not be put off by this the reason why i am and i struggle to use this is because no matter how little you use or how much you use it's the most greasiest oiliest quite it's got a really nice smell could be construed as being a little bit overpowering it's like a fresh vanilla to a real sickly vanilla goes quite quickly um extremely oily that is why it looks like this bottle it literally looks like baby oil okay um yeah put this stuff in your hair like what i've got today it's to the point of not actually a nice feeling because it's so greasy um wash it out after a couple of hours of it being in your hair done this twice uh, so you're thinking I could just, because what I tend to do, my hair's long now, but it's highlighted, so it needs moisture. So what I've done is I always brush my hair back and I put it into like this man, uh, man top knot, what I call here. Slick it back, it's smart for work, Zoom calls, sort of Skype calls, whatever, what have you. I'm smart professional. Great, looks really cool, super cool. I like the front because I like the 1910s, 1920s inspired slick back look, but I've got a bit of an edginess going on because I've got the undercut here and I've got the... the um, hair done up at the back here. I can feel even touching my hair. It's greasy. I hate this. I would not touch my phone now. I would not touch my screen or anything like that at all. Um, and from that aspect, I don't like it. It might well be nourishing. That is great. It might well be. But I am prepared to have slightly drier hair or slightly coarser textured hair, okay, than having greasy hair. Now, I tried a small amount of this thinking I could have dried my hair and passed a straightener through it. No, you can't. It literally looks like you've just got oil in your hair and it does not dry at all. Now, I was up this morning um, at five o'clock. It is now coming up to half past six. I start work at six o'clock in the morning. I start over 10 to six this morning. Have my hair sorted first thing this morning before I started work, of course. I used a little bit of this throughout my hair to slick it back in the sort of top knot style here and I can still feel all around my hairline feels greasy, the nape of my neck feels greasy, I've actually been out this afternoon, um, I had to go to the store, had to pick up some things what I wanted to do and yeah I could feel with a scarf on, it's winter at the moment, um, it wasn't a nice feeling, I have hearing aids, I can feel the product around the top of my hearing aid so for me this is a no-go product, I would recommend it but only as like as a treatment. So for example, if you're home all day, put this in your hair. If you're a long, um, if you've got long hair, if you're a lady sat there watching, you've got that real glamorous long hair and you use heat, you use perhaps um, like those uh, tongs or rollers or one of the sort of those amazing glamorous looks. Leave this in first thing in the morning, then wash out in the evening. Great. For men, I don't really think this would actually, I don't think this would be a great product for a man, to be quite honest with you. Um, if you wanted to use a little bit and you've got ultra dry hair, yeah, absolutely. Um, and more probably at women's hair. And if you use a lot of heat, if you've got bleached hair, then this would be amazing. But as like a pre-treatment type thing before you shampoo your hair. The one thing which I will say it really did benefit, I suffer with really, really dry skin on my hands, really dry skin. Everything does not, everything seems to never do a good job on moisturising my hands. I use a little bit of this after, um, you can't touch anything because it's so greasy, but I use a little bit of this, left it for a couple of minutes and there's me sh sort of shaking my hands back and forth because my hands are so sore and it worked wonders. But of course we're reviewing it from a hair aspect. So for me, unfortunately, this product I will probably... I'm not sure at the moment, but it won't be being used um, 
Now, you may think, what do I do when this happens? So what I have actually done before is I've actually put them in charity bags. So here in the UK, through, uh, through your address, you can often receive charity bags. So often if I've got half a product or anything like that at all, I don't know if they've used it. I've never had any people come back to me to say, stop doing this. It, we, we don't use it. I've actually done that. So not shampoos and conditioners, because I think that's that's a little bit too far. But products like this, I have actually done that. I have actually done that. I don't know if you can. I don't know. But my way of doing something a little bit better, I think, for the environment. Um, and of course, yeah. So that's what I've done before. So that's what I'll probably do with this. It's done up. Um, it's in the original packaging. Yeah, I wouldn't pass it off as new because it's not. Um, but yeah. I would only recommend this It's sort of like a pre-treatment for sort of those glamorous looks, which ladies with their hair a lot longer, sort of especially waist length. My mum has very near uh, waist length hair, but she really didn't like this. So it's not for everybody. But there we go. So really, really great. If you like that type of thing, washing it out, of course, then enjoy the sort of the renewed effect of the hair. Because it does look after the hair really, really nice once you've washed it out. But if you're using it before and then you go to style your hair, just don't bother because it's so greasy, it's so overbearing, it's just generally not that nice. But there we go. Um, so 50-50 really here, isn't it? But for me, ultimately, I wouldn't actually be using it again. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this clip. I certainly have. I will always be honest on my channel. If I find a product which I love, then I will shout about it. If I find a product like which I've seen today and it's kind of fallen into bits and I'm not really that great with it or I'm not really a big fan of it, then I will tell you and I will certainly tell you the reasons why. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that clip. I certainly have. Um, and as ever, thank you very much for being here. It means the world to me. And until next time, I'll be seeing you then. Bye for now.